I don't think the internet learned anything from the pink sauce ordeal because there is a new viral health hazard on TikTok. And this is coming from a woman who's been dubbed the pickle girl. And that's because she makes pickles and starts off every video like this. Hi, pickle friends and family. Good morning, pickle friends and family. Pickle friends and family. Hi, pickle friends and family. Good morning, pickle friends and family. Now, pickle girl makes homemade pickled vegetables. She sells them on Etsy and she markets them on TikTok. She seemingly went insanely viral in the span of just a couple of months, gaining over 140,000 followers then suddenly she privated her entire TikTok account and removed all of her listings on her Etsy account because of what we're going to be covering in today's video. And there were some clear red flags before people started asking some questions. And this is for myself, guys. So mind that I'm not wearing a gown or an apron. I know a lot of people always comment when they don't see me wearing gloves and stuff. When I usually do things like that, you guys have to keep in mind it's either for myself or I'm just presenting it to you guys. They're not for orders. Yeah, that's hard to verify and trust, but okay. This is the video that originally put her on the map. Hi, Mama Top. My name is Amy, and I love to pickle all different kind of pickled veggies, and I'm a huge fan. I've been watching your TikToks. Um, I'm sorry for your loss, first of all. My prayers to you and your family. I just want to let you know, I'm actually live right now with my TikTok followers. Hi, everyone. Hey. And I'm actually working on your order. Um, I hope you get this order. I do have your PO box. I'm going to ship it out tomorrow. So it usually takes three to four business days to get to you. I hope you enjoy these orders. It's going to be mixed veggies. Um, it's not spicy because I don't know if you like spicy or not, but I love you and thank you for being who you are. I love watching your videos. It's always an inspiration. So Mama Todd is known as Shoelover99 on TikTok and has over 10 million followers. And she apparently made a video where she received this gift from Pickle Me Everything and I guess promoted her Etsy account. This promotion has now been deleted. And another TikTok creator by the name of Keith Lee with 5.4 million followers also reviewed the pickles and recommended them to his audience. And after these two shout outs, I mean, Pickle Girl's business was booming. And I'm talking like 14,000 orders. But there was one problem. They copy my whole flow. Oh. Word for word. Bar bar. You know, the whole cottage law that we covered and the whole pink sauce ordeal that got her in trouble in the first place? Well, a creator by the name of Food Science Babe highlighted some of these issues with Pickle Girl. If it comes minor leaking, it is hand sealed, not pressure sealed, not pressure cooked, no can, nothing involved. All right, so this person is selling pickled vegetables off of TikTok, off of their Etsy shop. There are accounts with millions of followers that have been promoting her products. And not only is she clearly not canning them correctly, but pickled and canned foods are actually not even allowed under cottage law in California. There is a risk of botulism with these foods, therefore it is not allowed. Unfortunately, she is blocking and deleting comments from anybody telling her that it's not legal and letting her know that this is a food safety risk. So on top of the fact that it's not even allowed under um, the cottage food operations in California, which is where she's operating out of, clearly you can see in that clip she's not canning it properly either, but even if she was, it's still not allowed. She is deleting comments and blocking people that are just merely telling her that it's not legal and telling her that it's not safe. So I just want to make people aware. I'm seeing comments of pregnant people buying this stuff. You guys don't consume this stuff. It's not worth it. Well then, okay, here's a quick guide on how to reduce getting food illnesses by 99.999%. It's a simple two-step guide. Step one, don't order food off of Etsy, especially from random people. Step two, don't order food that's been made in some random TikToker's kitchen. If we just followed that simple two-step guide, we wouldn't have had any of the pink sauce problems nor the pickle girl problems. But to be my own devil's advocate, I mean, without naive people, neither of these two would have businesses. And I would never want to discourage entrepreneurs from being their own boss. But still, you kind of have to look into the rules of regulations before you start a business. And I guess if your customer's safety isn't the most important thing, you shouldn't be running a business. I guess it's easier to just take shortcuts and beg for forgiveness once you have some capital later. But hey, I don't know if that was intentional or not. But Keith, one of the TikTokers who promoted the Pickle Girls Pickles, he saw that video and made a video of his own. I'm disgusted. I'm not only disgusted, I'm upset and I'm disappointed. Let's talk about it. For those that are unaware, I was sending some pickled vegetables the other day. I tried them. I made a video about them. It came to my attention that those pickled vegetables were sealed improperly and caused damage, sickness, botulism, very, very serious illness. Cancel your order if you made your order. I don't want my message to be misconstrued or misunderstood. Cancel your order. My video has been taken down because I don't stand for that. I don't like how it's handled. She was ignoring comments. She was ignoring people trying to educate her. 
It's one thing to be ignorant, because as humans, we're going to be ignorant. But once somebody gives you the opportunity to be educated as a responsible person and business owner, as a responsible human, you should take the knowledge and take the education that people are giving you, especially when it comes to harming people. Those pickled vegetables were sent to me and my family and then sent out to y'all. I don't like that. I want to take this time to say I take full accountability and I apologize for not doing my research like I usually do. I usually do a lot of research into small companies. I can admit I had no idea even to look into those safety precautions. And for that, I apologize. I was ignorant. I'm accepting that I was ignorant and I will learn from it. I will take accountability, full accountability. I will look deeper into these small companies that I work with. I don't like that at all. I got on the phone with the lady personally, myself, told her exactly what I'm telling y'all. I told her I'm going to make this video. I told her I'm going to denounce it. I don't stand for that. She reposted my video. I told her to take it down. Now we in a situation. Okay, so he deleted his video promoting Pickle Girl and Pickle Girl re-uploaded a video of his promoting the pickles. Bruh, no wonder she went private. That's stupid. Hopefully she's deleting all that right now. But it seems like she's really been following the playbook of the pink sauce lady by ignoring and deleting any criticism she received. And speaking of deleting, she actually uploaded a response to all of this, but quickly deleted it after. Thankfully though, since it was uploaded on the internet, someone managed to grab it. And this person was by the name of Spill Plug. So she Shout out to that person for managing to get this video before they deleted it. Hi to all my followers and friends. Hello, pickle friends and family. Guys, everyone, I've seen what's going on. I have the food license. I have the can license. Guys, just give me some time to put everything together as a video and show you guys all the proof and all the facts before you blow things out of proportion, before you don't know things. So please, private message me if you have a concern or if you're not happy the way I did something. But let me have a second to post everything, to show you guys everything. Then you guys can assume yourselves what you want after that. With that said, there's no orders being processed at this time. All orders are being starting to process on Monday when I show you guys all the proof the facts so if you are placing an order i appreciate it but just keep in mind no one's getting their order anytime soon all orders yeah. are being on hold until i prove you guys everything yo so she doubled down pink sauce 2.0 i can't believe this but here's where the plot twist happened because instead of making a follow-up bringing out all the receipts of how she was certified all along we got this hello pickled friends and family um first and most guys i want to apologize to everyone I'm so sorry for all of this. It just happened so fast. Um, I was a small business. It blew up overnight. I want to bring, I want to thank Food Science Babe for bringing awareness to teach me things that I didn't know about this uh, food canning license, about a lot of things. With that said, guys, I am refunding everyone's orders. I truly apologize. I'm working on getting my commercial um, kitchen. We, I've had it since Monday. I'm working on getting all the license, the permits, whatever it is that I need to get done to get this properly done. Um, if you want to cancel your order, I understand. No problem. If you want to hold on to your order until I get all this resolved and fixed the proper way, I appreciate it. I still appreciate everyone's love and support. Um, bear with me, everyone. I'm working hard. I I'm trying. I do. Sorry, my video got cut off, but what I'm truly, really trying to say is happy holidays. From the bottom of my heart, I'm so sorry if I offended anyone or if I was rude or if I said something I shouldn't have or I blocked or whatever I've done or said, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to hide. I'm not trying to run. I'm here, but I'm only here by myself. I'm one person with all the hate, all the messages. Everything just came so fast. It blew up so fast and... It's hard to reply to everyone's message, guys. Just bear with me. I'm doing my best. I do apologize. I do appreciate the support still. If you're not happy, no problem with issue refund. But just please consider being a little bit nicer. It does hurt people. Happy holidays. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. See, this is interesting because this is where she separated herself from the pink sauce woman or Chef P because she actually apologized and it seems like she meant it. I mean, it, it's not like she was really given a way out here. I'm assuming if she could ignore it and continue on, she maybe would have done so. I don't know. 
can't judge. But also she was pretty much backed into a corner here where all the people she claims to be her idols turned on her. That didn't really happen in Chef P's case because she went on to a talk show and the talk show host defended her. So the, the situations were a little bit different because Chef P just uh, kept doubling down. She doubled down, then she doubled down again, and then she doubled down again, and then she doubled down again. She was all in and then suddenly she got a sauce deal. She's now in the grocery stores. I don't know how that worked out. Good for her, I guess. But uh, Pickle Girl, she'd only doubled down once. And then she also just posted this. Hey, this is the commercial kitchen area. This is where we're gonna be. This is it so far. This is where my commercial kitchen's gonna be. And I hope you guys like it. This is where I'm gonna do lives from now on. And this is it. So hey, that is a positive step. It looks like she's trying to take her business and make it legitimate. I'm worried that could be a little bit late though, because the elephant in the room is uh, she uh, she could have illegally sold over 14,000 orders of pickles. But I guess that's between her and the 14,000 customers she had before she had an industrial kitchen or license. She also just unprivated her TikTok account as of recording this video. And I do see that she deleted a bunch of the re-uploaded promotions. So yeah, I mean, she is taking steps in the right direction. So I guess it'll be interesting to see what comes of this. And until then, I'll see you guys in the next video.